Hello friend, this is another video about how to get PhD or MS or Bachelor admission or scholarship in any foreign university. So this is my video number three. You can see from here the number I have given here that this is the video number three. This means this is the approach number three. So just follow this step. Which step now? This is the step which I am going to show you. You just need to download a paper. For example, this is my paper. Uh, if you are interested in a solar cell, this is the disensitized solar cell. I just give you the example that if you are interested in disensitized solar cell, Google this keywords disensitized solar cell, and Google will give you articles, papers about that particular field. If you are interested in sensors, if you are interested in lithium ion batteries, if you are interested in artificial intelligence, if you are interested in any field, just Google that. You will get papers. You just download those papers. Maybe some of the papers you do not have access. So you just request someone and there are groups on Facebook and other places that you can request someone so they can send you and you can also buy online the papers there are also some website which provide free papers when you download this paper so this is the title you are interested to do phd or to get a scholarship to work in disensitized solar cell or in other field this is just one example these are the other name this is my name kamarwali this is another name this is another name these are another. and this is the final name and you can see this star here this star this star is very important this star telling you that you have to contact this person for all the communications regarding this paper this star is very very important you see here at the last name Rajan Jose this is my supervisor the star is exist existing at the top of him here just scroll down so you will see this star which this star is locating at some place here when you scroll down so you will see that here that star shows basically the corresponding author the corresponding author and he has an email here very interesting very simple just drop an email to him and ask about phd i if i found my phd like this way i drop an email to him and he respond me and the coming videos i will explain how to write an email so this is very easiest way download the paper any paper any any field you like download that paper and see the names when you see this star here on the top of that uh, person so you say that this is the corresponding author and usually this is the most powerful person in the paper when you see star here on the top of the name so that person is the more powerful the most powerful person of the paper because people will correspond to this person people will ask about for example if i'm you are reading this paper and you don't know some place for example you don't know this sentence so you can write to this rajan jose that can you explain to me what is this photo current efficiency mean photo conversion efficiency means so this is how so here use this approach using this platform you can contact your potential supervisor and this when you see this star here and when you scroll down so you will see that there is an email and that email is basically Rajan Jose you see rjos rjos at the red ump.edu.my until here Malaysia so you just drop an email and ask about your PhD or your MS or your Bickler or your scholarship. So definitely he will respond. If you have a write a proper email and you put a proper subjective line that inquiry about scholarship or prospective PhD or prospective MS student or interest in PhD or something and write a proper email and formal email and request him definitely he will respond you that whether he has the opportunity or not so this is another approach how to uh, uh, can take your potential supervisor and obtain and achieve phd or master or any scholarship thanks for watching